keep it in the name of the throne God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. These are the non-travelers on Memorial Day. God bless you all. I'm so happy that you made it here today. Could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to come to St. Louis this morning. Happy Memorial Day. On this Memorial Day weekend, I turn your attention to the weekend, to the candle, and to the moment. The weekend, the candle, and the moment. There's a gentleman by the name of Eckhart Tolle who wrote a book called The Power of Now.
This candle has been burning for quite a while. We burned this candle for 40 days after Easter. So remember the 40 days that Jesus walked the earth. Today we had a reading from the first chapter of Acts. Who wrote the book of Acts? Not so confident this morning, are you? Well, I'll tell you who wrote it. He's a saint. And he named our church after him. A guy named Luke, the physician. St. Luke wrote the Gospel of Luke to talk about the life and times of Jesus Christ. But the second volume, the book of Acts, tells what his friends, his disciples, who became apostles, what they did with the teachings of Jesus Christ. Today we have a reading from the first chapter of Acts. And in the first chapter of Acts, the disciples were worried about the future. Jesus had been around them for 40 days and had been breaking bread with them and fellowship with them and teaching them and uplifting them. And Jesus said, my time has come. I survived the grave, but now I shall go and be with the Father. And you know what they asked? Jack, just like Jack and Red. They said, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen in the future? Are you going to restore Israel now? You see, that restoration of Israel is something you've been carrying around. When is it going to come? When shall Israel be a great nation again? When shall Israel stand tall among the nations of the world? They, they couldn't wait their time. Have you ever wanted something? And it seemed like you would never get there. That's hard sometimes, isn't it? Time can be, time can be something else. Time can be rough. Like if you try to go from point A to point B, and you really want point B to hurt him again, at that time can be overwhelming and heavy. See, that's what the disciples were. That's what Jesus' friends were. They said, when you leave, does that mean you want to now restore Israel? And Jesus said, you will not know the time. It is not up to you. But I got something. I got the Holy Spirit. I got that Holy Spirit that has been promised you. I have that comfort. I have that advocate. And it will come to you. The weekend, the candle, and the moment. Let me boil down the wisdom of Eckhart Tolle as succinctly as I can. Are you ready? Don't let your past and your future mess up your present. All you really have is this moment. And when I say this moment, I mean this moment. Right here and right now. The Holy Spirit is coming. My brothers and sisters, it can be a rough world out there. It can be a rough world in here too. But I came here today to let you know that in this moment, recognize that the Spirit of God lives inside of you. In this moment, don't worry about the future. Don't worry about that stuff that already happened that you can't go back in time and change. Wake up and recognize the power of this moment. Recognize the power of the now. Are you with me? In this moment, last Sunday, this was the future. What is right now, right now? And next Sunday, it's the future, but when we get there, this will be the past. But 
right now we have this moment. We have each other. We have the Spirit of God inside of us. The problem with being a human being, the challenge that we have, is that we have free will. We have the opportunity. We have the choice to just worry about whatever foolishness we want to worry about. Stuff in the future, stuff in the past. You got to make a choice to be in this moment. This moment is the most powerful thing in the world. Could you imagine if you got up on a beautiful, sunny day on May 28th of 2017 and you'll see all this beautiful vegetation and it's 70 degrees outside and the wind is blowing against you and the birds are singing? But your mind is a week from now. Worried about something? Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you what folks were. People spend their time worrying about things that are never going to happen. People spend their time worrying about stuff that doesn't even matter. Folks spend their time worrying about things that you should easily overcome. And if you do that, you just give it away for blessing. That wind is blowing against you, the birds are singing. You got a piece of your health left that you can get up and move around and enjoy yourself. But instead of enjoying yourself, you give your joy away. You give your power away. You ignore your blessings, but not now. Not in this moment. Not in this moment. In this moment, you see your blessings. In this moment, you can feel that Holy Spirit of God inside of you, animating your body and giving you health and strength and vitality and hope in this moment. There's nothing more powerful than this moment. Disciples saw Jesus ascend to be with the Father, and they stood there just looking, waiting for him to come back. And the angels came and said, Hey, you got work to do. Don't worry about what Jesus is doing. You have work to do. In fact, what did they do? What did they do out there? They went back to their room, and they did what? And work. Now, I cannot stop you from worrying about the future. I cannot tell you that a thought, some old negative, meaningless thought that you're going to easily overcome, I can't tell you that it ain't going to happen to you, but I can tell you what to do when it does. Do like Jackie just told you to do. Do like St. Luke wrote about the apostles doing. They went to the room and they prayed. In this moment, this moment, if you have something on your heart that's weighing your heart, that's weighing you down, if you got something in this moment that's stressing you out, let it go. Give it up to God. That is the power of prayer. To get rid of all those worries and all of that nonsense. And let God have it. Let God carry all those problems for you in this moment. You see, after we leave this place today, each and every one of us are going to have a lot of moments in our life. And the most powerful thing that you can do between now and the next time I see you, is to recognize the power of being aware of this moment. Like the, like the teacher said, like the scholar said, there's power in now. There ain't no power in the future. There ain't no power.
power at is power in this moment. The Holy Spirit is activated. The Holy Spirit of God is activated when you recognize the power of this moment. And when that stress gets heavy on your heart, it starts wearing on you, that's when you take note. You can get on your knees, you can sit in a chair, you can lay on your back, you can curl up into a ball, it doesn't matter. Give it up to God. In that moment, give it up to God, and you shall be healed. My brothers and sisters,